Hello everyone, and welcome to the third episode of the FIFA 17 Cambridge United Road to Glory. Last episode, did not watch it. Here's a rundown. We got promoted. We won in the playoff final against Portsmouth. Cambridge United are up in EFL League One. You know, it's a small step to our eventual goal. The series ends when I win the Champions League title. Well, in this, at back this time, the Champions Cup. But, can't do that in four stop, still down in League Two. So, going up to League One, big benefit, good promotion. And now, gotta see if we can handle this new division. So, the worst news I think that anyone can get in a road to glory. The objectives, especially financial, you're hit with that critical. Have to finish the first transfer window with $1.1 million profit, which basically means sell one or two players, do well in the preseason. And have to keep salary growth under 25%. I'm not going to lie, I was looking to bring in like four or five different young promising players. But, looking at the way things are now, that that's not going to be possible. So... We're going to have to rely on our youth academy. George Bennett is a perfect example. 60 overall left back, 72 to 90 potential, physically strong. He's an all-round athlete. Just train that defending. He's going to be one of the best someday. Alfie Phillips will not. <laughs> he only has 75 to 81 potential. Probably bring him on as a sub. Probably just won't touch him at all. You know, he's not going to play at all. And if he requests to leave someday down the road, I'll let him go. And we've got some bad news. Josh Colson, one of our starting center backs, he has suffered an MCL tear. Well, he suffered a medial collateral ligament. I don't understand how you suffer a ligament. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a tear or sprain or something. But he's going to be out for two months. Not exactly the way I would like to start the season, knowing that our starting center back is out injured. So one thing I really miss from these old FIFAs is that they would predict where you would end up finishing. We're going to end up finishing fourth, apparent, 14th, apparently. I honestly think... I mean, it depends on the injuries. You know, if we... I mean, we're down a center back right now. Could be tough to rebound. But I, I do think there's a chance we finish higher than 14th. But I think 14th wouldn't be that bad of a spot to finish in, especially our first season up in a new division. So, Liam Cooper who was our starting goalkeeper for a month or two until Martin came and easily took that job. Or no, Watson. Or was it Martin? Regardless, he lost his starting job, sending him out on a two-year loan to Plymouth Argyle. I mean, he's got really good potential. I think he's just going to end up being out on loan for quite a long time until I really figure out what I'm going to do with the goalkeeping position. Mehdi Alito is going to Shrewsbury. Never really wanted him at the club. Didn't make any appearances. Get a good chunk of money from. George Maris is going to be going on a two-year loan move to Newport County. He is a player that, unfortunately, Cambridge United just let go of. Uh, easily starter quality at the current moment. But back then, back now, in FIFA 17, he wasn't. So, But he has decent potential, so you never know. Might keep him around just to try to keep one you know, original player at the club. But now, first game of the season, we are hosting Port Vale. And this is the lineup. We got Martin as our goalkeeper, Ledge and Roberts are the center backs, Halliday, Carroll, outside backs, O'Neill is the defensive mid, Ward and Barry are the center mids, Thomas and Allen are on the wings, and Ike Piazzu is the starting striker. I really like this team. I think we're going to do well. Especially when we're playing a very, very classic. 4-4-2. Here are the highlights. That's a clever... Now the shot! And there's a score here. And that has significance because they're now into the lead. He won't have scored too many better than that. He certainly won't have hit too many. Dangerous. O'Neill. And it's an equalising goal here. Lost his marker cleverly. He's got support here. 
And here's the header. And that is the goal that puts them in front. Well, they did better than I thought they were going to. Uh, yeah, 2-1 loss, first day of the season. This is the worst way you can start a season. No, you don't want to lose that first game. Someone has to, unless it's a draw. But we, we ended up losing. This is a bad omen for the rest of the season. So, Piero Mongolia is going to Shrewsbury for 550000 because of Allen and Thomas, he no longer has a starting spot. And again, need to make some money. Jamie Carter is going to be going on a two-year loan move to Burton Albion. He wants to be playing more, but he's not going to because of Ike Piazzu. So, I figured, you know what, why not? We'll send him out send him out alone for two years. See what things look like when he comes back. Sean Hill will be joining the first team. 62 overall, left mid. 73 to 79 potential. Nothing big. He's really a short-term backup. So, with our main scout, we're going to England for nine months to get some wingers. Despite the fact we already have some, I like having those quicker players on the field. And sometimes, you get a future striker out of it. Another scout is going to Northern Ireland for nine months to get some technically gifted players. And another, another scout is going to Scotland for nine months getting some physically strong players. So Mark Dillon will be joining the first team at 58 overall, right mid, 64 to 88 potential. Don't see him being at the club long, but who knows? You know, it, it depends what his potential ends up looking like. Owen Mitchell will be joining the first team, 62 overall, playmaker, out of England, 74-94 potential. He's going to be put right into that center mid mix. Bradley Murphy is joining the first team, only a 48 overall striker. He's got 67 and 93 potential. I don't know. He's five foot seven, so he's not really a striker. But you know, you never know what things are going to end up looking like. Keith Donaghy will be joining the first team at 55 overall, attacking left mid, or he's an attacker who's a left mid. 79 to 94 potential. He's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Good potential from Northern Ireland. I mean, he could be the next George Best. Callum Murphy is also joining the first team. It's 54 overall left wing from England. 72, 92 potential. Who knows? Maybe we could have him and Donaghy rotate with Allen and Th Thomas. Lewis Campbell is joining the first team. Center forward from Scotland, but I'd probably play him at center mid because he's technically gifted. 53 potential, or 53 overall, 69-94 potential. Toby Martin is a player that's probably just going to get sold. 57 overall, max potential of 85. That's not good enough. So we got some bad news. Declan Ward is hurt again. He broke his collarbone. He's going to be out for eight weeks. This seems to be a recurring theme with him. He likes to be hurt for eight weeks towards the end of a, season, end of a year, end of a season. Really at a crucial time. Because we have an FA Cup game to play. as We're hosting Swindon Town. And this is the team. Back line, a little bit different. Bennett's in at center back. I believe Roberts is suspended. O'Neal, defensive mid. Barry and Mitchell, center mids. And front three is still the same dominant trio. Swindon are playing a 5-3-2. Again, thankfully, this is not FIFA 21. So I think... The formation hopefully won't be that good. Here are the highlights. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. And this with a chance, that's the breakthrough. It's been a very good start to this game, and they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. You wonder whether missing chances would leave them regretting those. Don't ask me how we only scored one goal, but we only scored one goal. We were in full control of that game from the minute it kicked off. We got a singular goal. But sometimes all you need is one single goal. That's all we needed. We're going through. So Peter Ward is joining the first team. 61 overall winger. 67 to 91 potential. Don't want to say anything about him yet until I see what that potential is. 
Henry Halls joining the first team to eventually be sold. 58 overall. He's got 60 to 84 potential. Oliver Hamilton wearing the helmet at center back out of Scotland. Six foot three. He's only a 50 overall, but he has 74 to 90 potential. And he's wearing a helmet. So he's going to be at the club for a while. So heading into the month of January, we're currently 10th in the table. Four points off of promotion. I think we're in a very good spot right now. I don't think we're too far off. I don't think we're too far down. I think we're in a very good position if we have a good late season surge to easily probably finish fifth. But yeah, guys, that is going to conclude this episode. Pretty good episode. Very important episode for squad building purposes. You know, at this, this team is going to be rapidly changing for the next three, four years, really until we have that good, young, really high potential core of players. So each episode, there's going to be different players coming in, coming out, just trying to figure out that right recipe that's going to make us Champions League winners. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you did. And it is Jay Biebs signing off.